Olivia. Hi, I'm Katie. Andre. Um, so we're here today because we want to kind of collaborate together and figure out what's best for the grandchildren in Bergman County. In a few minutes, my associate Stephanie will also be talking to you. But I kind of want to hear from your guys' perspective what's been going on for the past two years. Well, for the past two years, the kids have been going in foster care. Mm -hmm. They've moved on home and home. Um, and uh, we've been thinking, since we live out of state, we've been thinking about trying to take custody of the kids. But it's been an interesting situation in the home regarding that. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it? Um, it's just, we've been discussing it, and we think it's better for our children, <coughs> or for our grandchildren, seeing as their mother will have 20 years and, and plus in prison, and we rather take them in our home where they know us than just some other foster home where they may not get some love and care as they would with us. So you guys are concerned that if you don't bring them into the home, that they're really not getting the family care that they need, so you guys feel like you're ready to take on this challenge. It's a concern. I have a concern for the children. Um, I think have been a little pressing at the home because I feel a little pressured by my wife to uh, bring the grandkids in, and I just mm -hmm. don't know if we can cope with it and if we have enough energy or if we can financially um, take it on because the past two years, They've been saying that uh, the kids have been acting out, they've had some behavioral issues, and I just don't know if I can deal with that, seeing as we're retired. And even financially paying for their education and all the extra food that comes in with it, it would be a really tight situation for us, and I just feel a little pressure. So you're feeling pressure right now because you are concerned that you don't have the financial stability or the energy to take care of the grandkids. Right, I mean, I care about them, but I also don't know if we, as a couple, can take on the role as parents again. Mm -hmm. And it's just, yeah. <clears throat> What's your response to what your husband just said? Um, it kind of upsets me because I think it's very important they go in our home because they need discipline so they don't turn out like my son because he did drugs and his wife killed him, so... I don't want my grandchildren to end up doing drugs or murdering their husband and wife. So they need to come here and do have expectations and discipline, but I feel like he doesn't care enough for the grandchildren for that to happen. So you're concerned because you feel like you're up for the challenge, but you guys aren't really on the same page. What I'm hearing is that you both are concerned about the well-being of your grandchildren. Um, so tell me a little bit about your financial situation? Well, I used to work as a, <clears throat> I used to work in an executive office in a business, mm -hmm. and uh, I made good money, but then we retired, and so living off of that, um, it's not the best, and we did put money aside, however, we know that it's not, it's going to be really hard with all the added um, additions of having two children in the house. Not to mention education and possibly college. So. What are your concerns financially if you were to take this on? Um, I agree it's going to be a struggle because you know, we're both retired, but um, if you look at the average side of it, I feel like it's the most important thing we can do. Like, yeah, we'll struggle a little, but I rather struggle and know my grandchildren are safe and going to have a good life than be okay with money and then just off doing who knows what. Mm -hmm. So tell me a, a little bit about where you guys live in the neighborhood that you live in. Um, well, we live in Anderson. Uh, we live on the nicer end. It's a, we have a nice place. It's comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's not luxurious by any means, but we're in a comfortable place. Uh, We've known our neighbors for 10 plus years. Um, we usually have uh, either card games with them or meet like once a month maybe. I'm part of a men's group, accountability men's group, accountability men's group. And uh, we meet and discuss philosophy and Bible studies. Um, we have a good neighborhood. 
So it sounds like your neighborhood is kind of like a community resource in a way for you guys that you could rely on some support. Is that true? For for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know about her. No, I agree. And I feel it's really safe too. You feel like it's a safe place too. What about schools? Are there any schools that are nearby that you feel like you would want to send the kids to? Um yeah, seeing as Ruby and Tony are seven and eight, they're looking at elementary school and we live right next to it, um, um East Side Elementary. Mm -hmm. Like over by the church, we live like behind it, so there there's that school. Um again, I don't know if we can cope with it financially. So not to mention we don't even know if the mother will terminate So, are you guys concerned about her not terminating her rights? I don't think she will. Yeah, I don't think she will because she, her and my son did not like like me at all. They thought I was too demanding and rigid, but I looked, you know, out for both of them and my grandchildren, and so I feel like it's going to be a very difficult way to just let her take advantage of them. So you guys are worried because you kind of had a rocky relationship with them before all of this took place? Oh, yeah. yeah. She Definitely. didn't want us in their life at all. She didn't want us in her life or in her children's life. Um, when we would try to invite them home for Christmas or we'd try to be <coughs> up for family holidays and whatnot, they wouldn't let us and uh, they wouldn't let us visit the grandchildren because they thought that we raised them up in a really strict home and that we were too, uh, too strict with them. Because we're both Baptists, and so we we have really strong feelings about how the child should be raised, and I just feel like that's the right way to raise a child. And he acted out when he came when he went out to college and started doing all these things, and well, yeah, just didn't have the best relationship. Sounds like overall this has been a very painful experience for the both of you. Kind of hurts knowing that you worked so hard to try to make your son something than what he's become, and now he became everything that you're against. Or was. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with your grandchildren. We, when we do visit them, we don't see them a lot because we do live out of state. But I feel like when we do visit them, it does go great. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they're love bears. 